Hello, my name is Chris Wade. I'm director of the People and Places Partnership, aka at Man About Towns. And I'm going to talk in this video presentation about creating a forward framework for revitalising Beckles Town Centre. I'm going to go through the slides quite quickly, but of course you can always hit the pause button. And throughout, there'll be links to resources, and you can see the first one, um, which is, it, is it's the page where most of the resources are, um, if you want to find out more information and including downloading a PDF version of the presentation if you haven't had enough. This work, looking after the heart of Beckles Town Centre, it's a collaboration between ourselves at People and Places, East Suffolk Council, Beckles Town Council and the Beckles Business and Tourism Association. And this local work is backed up by national resources, which are people and places we put together for the local government association to help towns all over the country. And in fact, if you visit the relaunched national toolkit for revitalizing town centres that covers responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, you'll see a very familiar scene on the front page of the website. There are three parts of this presentation and indeed the way we're working within Beckles Town Centre. I'm going to start with talking about gathering the evidence um, and just briefly give you some of the feedback from an extensive survey we undertook in the town. You can use the link below to the East Suffolk Means Business website to download the full report. The things I want to emphasise here really is that the report involved extensive work gathering town centre metrics and perhaps most interestingly and importantly of all of going and speaking to nearly 200 people who use the town and engaging with 112 of businesses based within Beckles Town Centre. Briefly some of the highlights from the survey uh, beginning with what businesses told us and here you can see a slide about recent turnover by businesses and you can see that just over a quarter of businesses in Beckles Town Centre said that their turnover had decreased in the 12 months prior to undertaking the survey. Um, and whilst that's of concern, it's slightly less than other East Suffolk towns and trends nationally. In terms of what businesses liked about being based within Beckles Town Centre, you can see that they especially valued the local customers, the town's prosperity, its appearance, the existing cafes, pubs, restaurants, the rest of the retail mix. They definitely had one eye on tourists as well, and they thought it was well placed with good public transport. Because we have also worked across other neighbouring East Suffolk towns, we we're able to make comparisons about what businesses and about what town centre users think about the different towns. And here we say that some of the things around locality, looking at the positives, Beckles fares very well in terms of the business's perceptions about many of the aspects of what it's like to be based within Beckles Town Centre. This slide looks at the food and drink offer across those East Suffolk towns, and you can see it varies between the towns and that Beckles is, is pitched average or slightly below average in terms of its provision of cafes and restaurants, bars and pubs, and takeaways. So food for thought. Looking very briefly and quickly at some of the data we have about the customers, the people are using Beckles Town Centre and again comparing it against East Suffolk and again against towns nationally, we can see some interesting things. In terms of the purpose of the visit, what we see in Beckles is actually people are visiting town for a whole range of things and in fairly equal proportion. So that's leisure, access to services and then the two types of shopping comparisons shopping which is kind of electrical goods fashion and convenience shopping which is your everyday goods which is typically food the other thing that we can see is that people are visiting beckles town center for longer perhaps than other local towns and towns nationally and that probably reflects the range of the things that they're coming into town for 
And we can see that there's lots of things that customers already like about Beckles Town Centre and that we can build on. They feel it's a convenient place to use. They like the customer service, think it provides good value for money. They enjoy the range of independent shops and the retail offer in terms of groceries. They think it's an attractive place, an easy place to walk around. And over 80% of people value the existing cafes and restaurants. Now I want to just pause to ask a few questions. And these things that you can think about and you can feed in either through the town council or the business association. So that can help shape how we go forward. And the first question is, do we understand enough about the COVID-9 impacts that have happened since we did the survey? Do we need to find out more? Um, how has it affected people's priorities, the way they use the town centre? We're now going to focus on the next phase of the work and of this presentation, which is about creating partnerships, engaging the wider stakeholders, groups, organisations, and getting people working together in partnership, getting everybody rowing in the same direction. And this is the model that we've created in the national guidance and that we're following here in East Suffolk towns. And you can see this circular process begins and ends with solid foundations. And those are the foundations of understanding the issues. And then we work through developing the organization, bringing people together, bringing in the money and coming up with an action plan for change, always focused on, are we having an impact on those issues? And of course, at the end of each cycle, whether it's six months, a year, five years, we come back to see if we're making an impact. And there are many ways that these town partnerships, town teams can come together. You'll see some of the some of the possibilities here. And if you hit the link to the national guidance, you'll see more about the pros and cons of these different systems. Um, and uh, there are also systems that can evolve during the life of revitalizing a town centre. Um, there are no wrongs and rights, but it's about being clear about choosing a way of getting organized, whether quite informal or very formal, to go about revitalizing and working in partnership in that case. And we're gonna talk now about how a partnership, a town team, can perhaps come together to help revitalize Beckles Town Centre. I'm gonna first talk about this coordinating hub and then two theme-based groups where people can roll up their sleeves and look to improve things. So this is our outline, how a coordination and communication link, a central hub that will drive change may work. And we're suggesting it's a small and hands-on hands -on supporting role. It coordinates across the other groups and projects, helps in coordinating finances, and importantly, communicates process both of those key partners, wider stakeholders and the wider community. And we're suggesting that it might involve the district council, the town council, the business association, and work at least to begin with, with monthly virtual catch-ups. So what are your thoughts on this coordinating group and composition? And again, feed those in, whether it's to the town council, or if you're a business to the business association, and that will help shape what we're doing. Having talked about putting the partnerships in place, now we're going to talk about the third area of this process, which is turning around the towns. And that's through planning, through rolling up our sleeves and delivering change and influencing wider bodies for the way that they operate in the, in the town. So that could be the health service. It's obviously going to be the district council, may well be the county council, influencing how other people work with the town. This is the checklist for all the things that we're looking to improve across a town centre. And again, you can link to this um, if you look at the local government association guide. But this is what you need to be bearing in mind. You can't be progressing all of these things at once. Um, but part of the action planning process we're going through now is matching these issues with what we found out about Beckles and creating a prioritised programme for change. If you're interested in seeing in detail how this national process works at the local level, then you can click the link through to information 
how about how we've gone about this forward framework process in neighboring Bungay. Of course, we're also making progress with Beckles, um, and you can use the link below to start to see how this form forward framework is beginning to come together to address the issues that we've identified in the team. This is how the initial forward framework begins to group the issues that we've identified for Beckles. And that's around ensuring sustainable growth, enabling people to visit the town, both in the car, public transport, and move around the town, to strengthen the town's image and turn it into a very positive brand, and to look at how we can take Beckles online. And as well as that local focus, there's also the opportunity for Beckles and the partnership within the town to link into things that are happening at the regional level. And that includes a smart towns project, which gives resources, gives knowledge to take the town online and to look at what's been going on the last year in terms of reviewing parking provision across East Suffolk's towns. I'm going to say a little bit more now about what we found out about this first theme, where we've grouped together several related issues that came out of the survey work and how we manage growth, access, and enhance the streetscape for people to move around. Parking is always an issue in nearly every town we get involved in. What we can see in Beckles is that there are some mixed messages. Businesses and customers are both relatively positive, but the data shows that it, it can be challenging to find a parking space, and that also future improvement is a top priority for both those groups. Lots of the issues relating to this theme can be addressed by engagement with the local plan and planning decisions around news development. And here we see a representation of some of the potential growth. And it's important to have an eye on the long term for how this development may happen, its quality, and from a town centre perspective, how it's easy for people to move between this new development as well as existing housing to be able to use the town centre conveniently and quickly. And a very positive aspect from Beckel's point of view is that many of these key strategic issues, planning issues that relate to the local plan are already being considered and addressed and driven locally as part of the Beckles neighbourhood plan. So that's issues to do with the town centre, about transport and movement, about housing, community facilities, environment and health. A whole range of issues with very much the view that the town centre is the focus and is at the hub of much of this activity. So my question now for you to reflect on is, what do you think about this theme and how can we come together to coordinate the activity and drive forward improvements. And I'm suggesting that a group might come together comprising the county, the district, the town council, that neighbourhood plan group and other special interest groups with a strategic interest in how the town develops. So what are your thoughts on the roles and representation of this team? And again, feed them in through groups that you belong to and particularly the Town Council and the Business Association. Now I'm going to say a little bit about a second theme where the issues that we found from the survey come together and help us think about solutions around marketing, business diversification and digital, digital development of the town centre. Looking at the business mix and the need for support, we can see some interesting information and trends. Uh, going forward, only 17% of businesses, this is prior to COVID-19, were worried that their turnover might decrease, and that compares very favourably with neighbouring towns and towns nationally. Everybody recognised that there is an important retail offer, although there may be a relatively low proportion of cafes and restaurants within this, uh, and businesses are positive about the town. Businesses call for an improvement business mix as a top future priority, but maybe we need to think about that in terms of how we make more and how we promote the current offer, uh, because there's already um, lots that people can benefit from when they're coming to spend their money in the town centre. 
In terms of digital development, which relates partly to smart towns, we can see that there is an appetite amongst the people that are using the town centre, and that's people of all ages, to engage more and improve their experience through using digital services that tell them about what's going on in the town. We're just going to reflect a little bit more on those that demand to develop digitally um, and how we need to focus on what people have said they need, what they require to build in our next steps to develop outcomes and then go back and measure to see if we're having an impact. And the, the, the measure that I'd like to highlight is how can we boost, how we can we deliver this demand amongst customers for digital skills? And if you look towards the bottom of this slide, you can see that over two thirds of customers would like to engage more with businesses by finding out more about what's happening on social media. And they're also very open to receive targeted marketing, again, to find out how they can use the businesses even more in future. These are the words, the popular words that customers use to describe the town. And you can see it's a strong brand to shout about, to make more of lovely, friendly, convenient, vibrant, attractive, charming, perfect, interesting, all very positive words, which are the true brand, the true identity of Beckles Town Centre. So this next slide is how do we come together? How do key groups come together to build on this positive impression, make more of it, shout from the rooftops, or at least shout online. And so this is what we're suggesting, the way to come together, develop projects, oversee delivery around branding, promotion, events, and digital. And we're seeing that this group, Fleet of Foot Group, could comprise of the Business Association, its business members, District Council, including, of course, the Smart Towns Initiative, plus bring in special interest groups, groups that play an important part in highlighting the town and increasing footfall into the town centre. Groups like the Food and Drink Festival. So like your views, again, what's your thoughts on the roles and representation and should your organisation or your business want to be actively involved? So I'm going to end this presentation looking at potential next steps for how we can come together in Beckles, work in a partnership and look to deliver long term solutions. And the first of the steps that I'm suggesting is to gather your feedback on the issues that have been presented here and the potential ways of working. And then, as you can see from this, there's a series of steps that help us to come together, strengthen that partnership work get us rowing in the same direction so that we can come up with a deliverable action plan that if we go back to do the surveys in one year, in two years time, we can see that the town is on a path to improvement. So my last question is to you is, how would your organisation like to be involved in taking these next steps? Feed in your comments through the town council, through the business association, and together with East Suffolk Council, we'll look to bring people together to develop the partnership and to come up with a deliverable action plan. So thank you to you for listening to this presentation on how we create a forward framework for revitalising Beckles Town Centre. If you see the link below, you'll find out more resources that give you more information about the process. And this is also a way that you can keep track of developments and continue to feed into the process. Thank you for your time and we look forward to engaging with you further in the future.